Hello there, y'all. Trevor Davies, the awesomeness here. And uh, today is uh, Monday, September 25th. And we are going, me and my parents, on a, a trip, another trip up to the Upper Peninsula, to the UP, Upper Peninsula of Michigan. We're going to be going to Escanaba first, and then Ironwood after, and then probably looping back over to Mackinac City. But um, yeah, um, I've never been to Escanaba or Ironwood, and I'm curious to see them. But I'm also curious to see how the fall colors are up there right now, because this would normally be, I think, what they consider, what most people consider the peak sees peak of the fall colors for the up that is um here in lower michigan not quite we'd still have a few weeks left till that but um yeah we are gonna get an early jump on the road it's already 6 12 a.m so we're gonna be leaving soon but yeah so looking forward to showing off the views with y'all so on the first day we are going to come, go first head up to Fayette Historic State Park in the UP's Garden Peninsula before checking in to our hotel in Escanaba, about an hour away from there. And then just west of Escanaba, we decided to go to a place called Northern Sun Winery and Vineyard in Bark River, just straight west of town before coming back to the hotel. And, and but obviously, since we had to drive all the way from home, you know, it was gonna be an interesting drive, to say the least, to see how the fall colors would change throughout the duration of the drive. Now let's go head northbound, y'all. Fayette Historic State Park on the Garden Peninsula. This is one of the views on the Overlook Trail. 
obviously you gotta be careful here but yeah we've been taking this trail along this um area this is trail Fayette Historic State Park is a it's like a ghost town area on the Garden Peninsula which on the UP kind of looks like a little foot on the southern part of the UP on the north shore of Lake Michigan um it, when you look at the UP and you think of it as like a bunny rabbit or a little dog or something you could think of the Garden Peninsula as like a one of its little hoofs or little feet like running from the edge like a bunny rabbit's little back foot if you get what i'm saying but yeah beautiful trail just gotta be careful because if you slide down there man you are sol shit out of luck so you know if you come here be careful but that's to be said about many trails in the up i mean it's not really anything particularly new in these rugged regions and now we're down at the town site within Fayette Historic State Park. We were up that way doing up that way doing the Overlook Trail. But yeah, now we're um over here. And sorry, I've been I've been kind of sweat. It's it's like it's end of September and it's unusually warm up here. <laughs> I'm not sure why. But you can see quite a few fall colors coming out. This is the northern coast of Lake Michigan. You can see over in the distance some wind turbines. Y'all know I love those. Um, we got an old town site here. There's also some cliffs, like down, down that way past that building. And it, 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 it all of a sudden got windy out here too. But yeah, but yeah, very nice park. And it's like we're getting a clear view of these cliffs. This is an abandoned ghost town known as Fayette. There's a lot of history behind it. But I haven't really been reading the history as I've been looking around the beautiful scenery. But... Okay, so we just recently checked into our hotel that we're staying at in the city of Escanaba, which it was an, about an hour drive from Fayette over across the other side of the bay over to Escanaba. Um, but now, just west of Escanaba, like 15 minutes or so, um, is this area, the town is called Bark River, but we're at what's called Northern Sun Winery, and there's a vineyard over there too, so I'm just kind of checking it out, you know, because my parents, they love drinking their wine, but the fact they said there were like vineyards and such, that, 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 interested me. So it looks like you can actually go into the vineyards over here and it's almost like those corn mazes they have at places. So yeah, that's, it looks nice. Kind of want to venture out through it. There's a sitting area right over there. Also, I figure I'd point out, look at how freaking sunny it is. Yeah, we've, we've certainly had some awesome weather today and unusually mild for the upper peninsula like it's been in the 70s today it's, I, I don't i think it's warmer here than it is back at home downstate that's crazy but yeah um but the fall colors have definitely been coming in a lot of areas up here i mean i guess some areas maybe the colors aren't quite there in areas where maybe it was drier, but there have definitely been some vivid colors around on the leaves. So on day two of the trip, we head from Escanaba towards Ironwood, where we'll be staying for the night. And obviously we'll be exploring some stuff around Ironwood in the western tip of the UP. So the hotel that we're staying at is in Ironwood, but as we approach Ironwood, we first stop in the nearby town of Wakefield to visit this Indian statue known as Niga Niga Bao, then checking into the hotel after. Then after that, once we check in, we head up to Lake Superior, first starting at a park called Little Girls Point County Park, which is on the Michigan side. And then cruising down the Lake Superior shore, we get we cross into Wisconsin and we visit Saxon Harbor 
Park, then from Saxon Harbor, looping back into Ironwood to get back to the hotel. So with all of that said, let's leave Escanaba and continue on. Good morning to y'all. We are leaving the hotel that we're staying at, in es or that we were staying at in Escanaba. We just checked out. So now we're on our way over to Ironwood. So yeah. Sunday Lake in Wakefield. Look at all the fall colors behind it. So yeah, this is like some native Indian. He's known as, quote unquote, the leading man of the Car Carver Peter Wolf. Oh, that's the Carver Peter Wolf Talk. But very cool stop. I'm glad we, we stopped over here. Nigga, nigga, bow. Okay, hey, so we just checked into our hotel in Ironwood. We're staying at the Quality Inn. Um, now we have we have a lot that we're gonna be doing, so you know, we're gonna head to Lake Superior. So um, yeah, for, for right now we gotta we gotta kind of get settled in though. So, but I figured I'd just let y'all know. <laughs> We arrived at Little Girls Point County Park and right on Lake Superior. I'm back to Lake Superior again. I knew I would return after not being to, to the lake in three and a half months. And this is definitely a different section of the shore. I mean, we're, we're nearing the western edge of the lake. We're basically not far from the Michigan-Wisconsin border. We're actually going to follow the this, ro this road is going to curve all the way down to the border of which we're going to go to a little later on, but, but for now we're going to, you know, wander around this park, you know. It is, uh, not going to lie, I, it, it says it's 64 degrees out, but man, you know, when people say you know you're close to Superior when you, <laughs> you feel the 
like I'm getting goosebumps. Like I I brought a sweatshirt with me, so I was, you know, obviously smart to do that. However, I did leave it in the car because I wanted to see if I could manage. But I might have to go get it out of the car. Like it is, uh, it's kind of. Yeah, it's kind of, it feels brisk out here, I'm not going to lie, but beautiful though, I mean. Yeah, you can see there are fall colors on these trees, but some of them may not be as changed as, you know, the trees in some more inland areas. But, you know, it usually does take longer for, for autumn leaves to change right along a lake shore. Oh, I mean, honestly, and the Great Lakes do tend to affect how the color change can stick around. Except Lake Superior is actually known to be an exception to that rule because of how brutally cold it is and how deep it is. So now we are at Saxon Harbor in now Wisconsin I mean let me be real with y'all for a sec I've never been to Wisconsin until now and it's funny how I'm literally seeing it from like the northeastern end of the state basically northeastern corner on Lake Superior well almost northwestern but th there's a little bit more that goes west before you get to Minnesota if you were to go straight west from here that being said it is a beautiful harbor and you can see some, some fall color change over there. There's this whole marina area, playground facilities. It is awesome. Like seriously, it is so awesome. And we are eating at a restaurant down that way, which I am going to go towards right now. So that's looking back at the harbor and see, we drove into this harbor up from a hill up there, as you can tell. And so we, I am just walking around. So there's the restaurant right there that my parents are having a drink at while I'm out here, you know, flying around. Good morning to y'all. So yeah, it is about 8.49 a.m. Um, my mom is at her business thing. My dad is working out or doing something. So, you know, it's going to be probably about, we'll probably be leaving within the next hour or so. I mean, it depends. Um, but yeah, we'll be heading back east through the UP, back towards Mackinac. So um, yeah, we're going to have a bit more driving today than yesterday. You know take it easy and see how it goes you know still have another full day of vacation so and for the third and, and last full day we from ironwood we headed back east um on our way to mackinac city for the night but first before going to, back to mackinac we would go to kitchity kippy which is known as the Big Spring, 
um, more de detail about that later. But, yeah, we head back that way, um, before heading home from Mackinac the next day. Um, and the reason that I put 25th through the 27th in the, in the video title where whereas the actual technical dates of the trip were the 25th through the 28th is because I didn't really record any footage on the 28th, you know, coming back home. So, yeah, that's why I, you know, put it that way, just so y'all didn't get confused.
you've watched to this point for the video, first off, thank you so much. But also, I've been putting so much, you know, so much time editing this video because uh, let's just say I had, you know, my work cut out for me on this on this particular video because <laughs> of the way that I was recording during the trip that there was a lot of different chunks of recording that I had that I had to keep remember the organization of them you know, what order everything went in and to get everything to flow the way I wanted it to flow for this video so so you know so thank you all who have gotten to this point of the video but yeah the trip was definitely amazing as you saw we saw a lot of fall colors obviously we did a lot of things despite only having like uh three full days pretty much and part of a day um so yeah we did a lot for the time we had especially when you saw we hopped from like different parts of the up you know every single day so there's definitely a lot of things we could have still seen within a certain you know area like for example things close to ironwood there's a lot of things that we haven't that we didn't get to see out there despite the fact we saw a lot of things out there there's a lot of things at the same time that we didn't but that means we'll be going back there again for sure well because also i loved seeing that area like it was my first time ever in that part of the up it was very cool to see but yeah with all of that this is this video so hopefully you enjoyed watching you know this video about the trip so with all that being said, this is Trevor Davies, The Awesomeness, coming out.